there's this weird video that's been circulating. I'm sure everybody... Actually, there's a bunch of videos of the same scene happening. I believe it's at Costco or Sam's. I think I read Costco somewhere. But again, it's hard to find the people who actually recorded this um, and where they're actually located because I would want to move there, honestly. Um, this woman is rebuking Satan. Yeah, that's tough. Because, you know, everybody has their own proclivity, and that's fine. Uh, why does she say ghost like that? She's like, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. It's like, well, <laughs> you're going to scare the <laughs> manichees away. Yeah, well, it's... Or the banshees. I don't know. Uh, each people have their own ritualistic practices, but I I don't know. It's it's a little it's a little difficult, as you know. Is it? Yeah, it really is. You know, I believe in etiquette. I not because you have to, but because it's more efficient. Do you believe in? But um, I know it's not reciprocal because etiquette usually doesn't come my way as much as I try to distribute it. But that's okay. But what, what's difficult about that video is specifically she's, and, and this is what I define as primitive, you know, there's primitive and integrative individuals, those people who try to integrate themselves with community people and compromise so that efficiency can be maximized. And there's primitive peoples who don't care about efficiency, just individual hedonism. And this is the problem here is because the more you're more the more you have this type of proclivity, you don't realize you're affecting everybody's life around you. <laughs> like everybody's going about the day and there's probably a coin flip of equality of religious people and non-religious people in this video. But the religious people, you are putting them in a very difficult situation. And the non-religious people, they're already ready to mock you. Yeah, you're literally putting them, like we talked earlier, right in between the rock and that really, it's just a really hard place yeah well it's, it's, it's <laughs> difficult because you now are being a spokesman in some sense and other people don't want to claim that and you make it difficult for people with religious proclivities to have a stance because it's like i i don't identify with that <laughs> well here's the same scene but at a different angle Yeah, it's tough because unfortunately for a lot of people, religion is an important construct. And this individual, they put people who have a religious proclivity in a harder situation. Because most religious people don't identify with that kind of action. Not that they may not believe it. They may believe in demons and uh, exorcisms and all that. And that's fine. But do they believe in plastic figurines going yeah, back to Yeah, and that's hell? the problem. It's... The well, some may, some may believe that inanimate objects may possess some kind of spiritual entity, like a cursed, like a cursed object or something like that, and that's fine too. But usually, it's not on a maxim of public display like this, like at Walmart. That's when, because I know in that video, there's a coin flip of people. It's fifty-fifty shot of religious people and non-religious people, and religious people have to do something with that internally. Ex in externally, they just may walk off and say no. But internally, they have to process that. And they have to say, you, you actually make people question their religion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, the most ironic thing of all, I think, is the fact that I don't think this woman goes to church. Maybe not. I mean, because she may go to church and see someone wearing a shirt that she doesn't like or pants that she doesn't like or whatever. So usually people like that. In my experience, I could be wrong. Um, but... In my experience, you know, those kind of people, like when I encounter those kind of people out in public uh, and I ask them questions, they usually don't believe in going to church because they say church is demonic and they basically say it's, you know, corrupt, kind of like the Mormons do, but they don't believe in Mormonism either. They don't believe in anything. But then on these public displays, they'll come out and yell at the banshees. And not only that, they, they want this to be an inclusive event. They want people to agree and participate, yeah. and when they don't, you get ostracized. It's like, now they're going to start casting out you. 
Yeah, it'd be weird if everybody started joining in with her and like, yeah, you know, let's take this figure down and they'd actually take it down and start breaking it yeah, pieces. Yeah, you're actually going to create a myth at that point. Yeah, and then she's going to stand up on a soapbox uh, or maybe, she might, maybe a cornbread box um, if she's at Albertsons or wherever she's at and she's going to stand on the cornbread like corn box. Bread. Yeah, but she's going to stand on the box and she's going to start preaching. And what she preaches will be interesting itself. I would, I would love to. I would. Actually I would, and it's redundant that. and old and sad. I've been hearing that for a million years, and I've been alive for ten million. Whoa! Yeah. And only ten percent of that ten million, or one million. Well, they say the that the the universe just got doubled aged. It yeah, was always thirteen eight billion. Now they're saying it's like twenty seven billion. So and wait till we develop yeah. a new microscope. Yeah, then it's going to be a hundred and twenty seven billion. Yeah. But anyway, so, you know, I've been around for at least 10 trillion years. Whoa. It doubled. <laughs> <laughs> it, it doubled from 10 million to 10 trillion. That's right. That's doubled. It's, it's, the, it's the beauty of axioms. That's actually a bubble up. But anyways, I don't know. I, I feel sorry for her because there's something internally she's dealing with, you can tell. And not only that, I feel sorry for the people who have religious proclivities because it puts them in a strange position. Because you already know people are going to talk about it. It's like, oh, did you see that woman who was doing this? And it's like... Yeah, but I don't identify with that. I don't, I don't represent that. Mm. And then you give a platform for non-religious people to say, see, and you think religion should be accepted as a normality because these kind of people make religious ideology seem like a, it could lead to a mental questionability, a stability. Mm. So, yeah, it, it's a tough thing. I, it's funny initially when you see it because it's, it's strange and out of sight, but when you uh, analyze it, there are so many people who identify with religion that, I don't know, it just becomes, it becomes difficult. So, uh, 